Hello! Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a clock transition with a line on the clock. And I'm also going to show you how to make just a clock if you want. So in my case, I'm just going to use color clips, but of course you can use whatever clips. So project add color clip. So I have my two clips here and I'm just going to go from one to the other. So right now nothing happens, of course. I'm just gonna click in the corner here to add a transition and I'm gonna keep it with wipe because I want it to be linear so this is good and here is the part that's different I'm gonna use a custom wipe for the clock I will explain to you why at the end but I'm just gonna use it and at the end I'll show you the difference between the two uh, I want it to be a bit longer and so, well, here my two colors are quite different, so you can see the difference. But if you have clips that are very similar, you might not see it. So you can add a rectangle to mark the line. So I'm going to do project, add title clip, alt R to make a rectangle. And I'm going to make it in this direction because it can be longer, so it's nice. So I want it to be centered, so 960 in my case. And well, here it depends on the height. And actually it's quite great, so if I do 20 for the height of the rectangle, 540 is the middle, and so 530 is the middle minus half of the height, so it works perfectly. So I'm just gonna keep it red because it's noticeable, and create title. I'm just gonna drag it where my transition is, so here. And I'm gonna use a transform effect to rotate it. Transform. So here you can change the rotation. One thing you'll notice is in the corner it doesn't work great. So I'm just gonna zoom it, zoom in a little. So this seems okay. I'm just gonna check that at the very corner it's okay too. Yeah, it's good. You could probably cal calculate that, but yeah. So at the very beginning, I want it to be at minus 90 because that's where my thing starts and at the end it will be 270 because that's the full circle you know I do want it to be linear so that it works great and now if I play it you can have the rotation with a rectangle that marks the line you might ask why didn't you use the normal transition well, when I first tried it, I realized it was different. Uh, it's not linear, so it didn't work great. So here it is, and you'll see that there's, like it takes a while to start at the beginning because it must be gray and not black. And then it just turns and it's a bit like not in the same place. So yeah, that wasn't great. So I just remade it in GIMP. So I'll just put it back to my clock that I made and that's perfect. So I also said that I would show you how to make a clock. So if you just want a clock, you can add a alpha shapes effect. You can drag it to whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter right now. And I'll change it to ellipse. No transition width and whatever size you want. So in my case, it's going to be like quite big. So maybe 400. And then here I want a circle that's not circle. And that's good. You can see that it doesn't uh, do all of them, so I'm just gonna put it to min and drag it to all of the other clips so that they are all affected by the effect. And now you have a clock. I mean, you could do it without, without the rectangle, you can remove it, it also works. But yeah, that's if you have something that's like a timer or something, you can put it over one minute and it will do the full clock turn or something. Okay. Well, I guess this is it. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. There's more coming. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.